the Cal Poly Rodeo in um, the football stadium. And so I'm going to tell you guys how it's going to work. But first, I want to give you guys some background on our program. It actually originally started in 1940. And according to our Cal Poly Rodeo website, since then we've won 44 national titles. That has made this school one of the most winning schools in the nation. And among those 44 titles, three of them were won by one man alone, and that would be our coach now, um, Finn Londo. And Slow Horse News actually did a whole article on him because it is such a uh, prestigious honor and to have won three national titles. And he originally started, um, he came back, he graduated from Cal Poly and came back to be our coach in 2013. Last year, equine enthusiasts um, did an article about him being coach of the year in 2016 for a very good reason. <laughs> he has um, grown our program so much. We went from 35 members in 2013 to 65 just last year. And he's also a huge reason um, that we are like able to do it in the stadium. He's put so much work into it. Um, and that's him with his son, Liam. So the main reason we are going to host it in the stadium this year is because of last year. We had over 6,000, and our capacity at the radio grounds is only 2,500 feet. That left a ton of people just on the outside that were watching. They were up on the rocks. So they were on top of the cattle trucks, and then there's a Obviously, a ton of people that snuck in. It's not that hard to sneak into the Cowboy Radio Grounds. And they also came to Ben after the uh, security guards that were watching the soccer, like on the soccer field side. There's a fence, and there was a number of security guards. They said that students were lining up in groups of 40 and just charging the fence because they knew that they, couldn't be, that they couldn't stop them all. And that's how they were getting in. So that's when Ben decided we needed a little more security and a bigger venue. And since we're at Cal Poly, the bigger venue will be the stadium. Um, it will see 11,000, and you can't really sneak into that. But with that, we only have four days, 96 hours, to set up the whole stadium with the arena to run one slack, two performances, one concert, and tear it all down without killing the grass. So Hunter Ream is actually the man that's doing all the logistics behind it, and he's a senior at Cal Poly. Uh, it's actually a senior project to do all the <laughs> background information and see what is needed to make this happen. This is the overview of the stadium. So. In 10 hours, we're going to create this. That's going to be two semi-loads of plywood, 200 loads of dirt, and then enough fabric to cover 75% of the football stadium on all the grass. So the grass goes down first, and then you lay your plywood, and then 200 loads of dirt. We have 10 hours to make that happen. And then they also have to set up not only the arena, but all that back all the stuff that's in the back that you guys typically don't see all has to be set up in the football stadium now. So all the little back stock pins, the warm-up pin, and then also the bucking chutes. There's six of them. They're very big, very heavy duty, and it's going, so they're going to close California in order to haul all of that in for, uh, I think it was Wednesday of the Poly Royal Week, and so they will have that closed. But... That's going to be a lot of work to make that happen. So with that, after you do that, you have the <coughs> rodeo, which if you do decide to go, you guys have your typical, all the um, college rodeo events, barrel racing, bull riding, bronc riding, calf roping, and the list goes on. And it's not, only, I don't know if you guys know at all, um, like how it kind of works, but we're part of a Western region. That's 11 schools. And so you're going to have your top 10 competitors in the Western region. That's 225 members total. And 
so it's the top ten. Like you guys aren't gonna just be seeing the um, like lower level, but it'll be your top competitors in the region. And then you have your acts, which is the clown and flying cowboys, like all the entertainment in between. And then the concert that they are going to have, it'll be after the Saturday night performance only, um, which I'm, I don't know if they've actually announced it yet to the public, but it's uh, Chancey Williams and the Younger Brothers Band. They're really good. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but they're really good. Um, and then after, immediately after the concert, we have to tear it all down that night. Then they will, I mean, it'll leak into Sunday too, but they start after the performance. So probably like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock when it's over, they start tearing down. And then the, t I don't know if you guys noticed, but, or if you guys have ever been in the stadium, to get your tickets, you, like you guys all have your passes or whatever, but you guys are going to have about half the football field and the warm-up pin between you and the arena. So I recommend buying general admission. They're 15 to $20 um, because you guys really won't have that great of a view from the student seating. And lastly, this is um, actually Ben. He rode us professionally now uh, in the bronc riding. But I want to give you guys a quote. So this event will allow Cal Poly Rodeo program to make history by potentially becoming the largest college rodeo in the country. That's going. That's not only a big deal for college rodeo, but also rodeo in general. The largest rodeo, um, the largest rodeo of the year seats about fourteen thousand people, and it's in the Thompson Max Center in Las Vegas, and we have the potential to see 11,000. Hopefully it happens, but that's only 3,000 less than the largest rodeo. Um, so guys, this is your school, and I hope that you guys come and enjoy it. And if you guys have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, you can ask me.